say something. One, two, Dopey's coming for you. Hello everyone and welcome to day 27 of Terrorthon, the Bronze Age of Horror. We've already covered the Golden and the Silver Ages, so this really is all that's left. Now full disclosure, the Golden Age of Horror is a commonly used term, but the Silver and Bronze not so much. Admittedly, I stole them from James Rolfe who does the Monster Madness videos. Sorry about that, but I really like the term so I thought I'd elucidate on them a little bit. So we're talking specifically about 70s and 80s horror movies today. There were no big grand world events that changed people's perceptions of horror and what could and couldn't be shown. So essentially what we're going to be doing now is going through the most important milestone horror movies. Because now it was the movies themselves that paved the way for the future of horror. So we're going to start with... <laughs> A really big one, The Exorcist, released in 1973. There are simply no words that I can say that would properly illustrate just how much of an impact this movie had on people. People were fainting, people were committing suicide, it, was, it just drove the world insane. And little personal tidbit, this was the movie that my mum and dad went to see on their first date. Hmm. So now there were essentially no limits as to what you could show in horror movies, because The Exorcist just pushed it so bloody far. Um, but then the very next year we got The Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 1974. This movie, if you even if you watch it nowadays, it feels really real. It's quite gritty, it's got a whole movie kind of feel about it. It really feels like you're right there in the action. And that paved the way for even more realistic horror. Because this could happen, man. It was based on a true story, so they said. And then in 75 we got a blockbuster horror movie in Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg. So many people went to see this and had no idea what they were in for. And many, many people never went in the sea ever again. And then to carry on people's fear of religious stuff, we got The Omen in 1976. Not quite as big as The Exorcist, but still very commonly known even to this day. It had a massive impact. And then in 1978 we got a spiritual successor to Psycho with Halloween with Michael Myers. Do I really need to say anything at this point? The movie's called Halloween, and it is a classic even to this day. And then, in 1979, we got a sci-fi horror in Alien. Now this is a very good indicator of where the public consciousness regarding horror is, because there's a line in this movie that says, well it's not a zombie. After the moon landing in 1969, space movies were just coming out like crazy, uh, but this was the first proper uh, horror movie set in space. And all throughout this time, Jallo movies were being made in Italy. They continued into the 80s and were more horror than thriller. And then in 1980 we got Friday the 13th, which started a franchise which would eventually last 11 movies, and uh, Jason was immediately a cultural icon. And then also in 1980 we got the very first found footage horror movie in Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, perhaps a bit too real for audiences at the time. Then in 1984 another horror icon was born, Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street series. It's a tale as old as time, children are not supposed to be watching horror movies, but even they knew Freddy Krueger, everyone did. Just like Chucky from Child's Play which came out in 1988, everyone was scared of dolls forever after that point. And between those we had the Stephen King movie Children of the Corn in 1984, and we also had, of course, Hellraiser in 1987. I would say we have now just covered the most influential horror movies of the 70s and 80s. Uh, and that essentially brings us to the 90s where things started to get a little bit stale. Maybe we'll talk about that next year, but for now, see you tomorrow.